Hey there guys, it's Louis 2 by 4 and welcome to today's video. In this video I'm going to be doing a lovely little review on this uh, A Christmas Carol Charles Dickens Lego promotional set which is uh, 40410. Um, I got this uh, sent to me by my mystery subscriber who has literally supported this channel uh, for a while now and helping me out with uh, getting some of these sets to review and build and add to the city. But I did this on a uh, live stream with uh, Aaron from Our Lego Life. I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to go watch that live stream again. But I was really, really pleasantly surprised by this set. Um, the overall build itself, how it's like a book on the bomb, is fantastic. I I didn't think this would be a set that I'd be like, mm, yeah, I want to, you know, I want to get this. Um, it wouldn't be something that I'd go out my way to get usually, but after the build process, I think this is absolutely fantastic and something that I would definitely uh, get in the future. So what I'll do is I'll go through the uh, minifigures first, because there's some lovely exclusive minifigures here. So first one we've got here is we've got uh, Tiny Tim uh, Crankit, I believe it is. He's got an alternative face scan there where he's got some food and things like that. Um, lovely design, like that jumper on there with the scarf and his walking stick, but really, really nice. Uh, we've got Mr. Crankit, Tiny Tim's father. Lovely uh, sort of detail on the front there, and a nice. This kind of looks like uh, Bruce Wayne from the uh, the Batman series, without these sort of little lines here. Uh, he sadly doesn't come with an alternative face scan, but I do like that detail on his back there. Really, really nice figure. And then we've got the man himself, Ebenezer Scrooge. So this is a really, really classic um, sort of look for him. He was a little bit different in the Jim Carrey version of the film, but I do, uh, I do like this representation of him. Really, really nice, I do like that suit. And if you look really, really closely there, you can see that sort of uh, detail, that gold detail on his glasses, which is really, really nice. I do like seeing this in a black color, that umbrella piece. But in terms of the uh, set itself, so this is based off the actual book. So if you had it that way, it would be the book. So I think I can, there we go. So that's better. Uh, so that's how the book would be, um, but it's obviously built on top of the book, which is a really, really cool design. I do love that set in there. There's a couple of sticker elements added there, like those um, pieces just inside here um, to create sort of wallpaper being removed or paint coming off. And that lovely little picture there, which is really, really nice. I believe this is exclusive to this set, um, but it just adds that, you know, a little bit more to the, uh, the scene. Lovely little fire guard down in the corner, along with this really, really simple Christmas tree. I would have never thought of doing something like this, um, but it looks really, really nice. And then on the outside, we'll go right the way around this side. We've got a snowy sort of scene as it is a Christmas film um, and our, our, a Christmas book. Uh, we've got these lovely printed um, wood sort of round uh, tiles on there. The little lamp that we got with uh, Hagrid and Buckbeak, the sort of brick heads, and I think it's in a couple of Harry Potter sets there. Another little small tree on the outside. For those of you that are city builders, this is a fantastic uh, little lamp there. Good idea for a lamp. I might, I might be tempted to do that. Uh, we've got like a little sort of light bit here. Um, no sort of clear transparent head, sorry. A little stud rod, and then one of those cones there and then just added one of them on the top. So just attach that back. Little small bit of detail, sort of bit of fencing around the side. And I do love this sort of old rustic uh, tile looking roof tile uh, piece of roof here, which is really, really nice. And then another little additional surprise is this little drawer. Now I don't actually know what this is supposed to be for, but it just sort of sits through there. Um, and it's a, this was, <laughs> I was really fascinated to see how this actually worked. Um, and it just sort of slots back in there like so. These are sticker elements just on these green and they do look really, really lovely. I do like that snowflake design there. It's uh, it's really, really nice. And that Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens is absolutely lovely. I do like that on the front of there. But I believe the draw is just about shy of getting a minifigure in there. So the minifigure doesn't, I've tested this out, doesn't actually fit in with his uh, hair piece on there, but you can actually get a minifigure in there and hide him away in there. Obviously, take him back out. But once, I believe once you put the uh, the hair piece on, uh, it is a little bit more difficult. But this is like, I think this is like a must have. This is absolutely fantastic. If they did more of these, 
um, I would be down to get them. Like, I mean, I was thinking about Winnie the Pooh, you know, like other sort of books like Harry Potter. I know they have decided to bring out some Harry Potter book sort of play sets, but you know, in this sort of style, this would be really cool. You know, maybe like the Philosopher's Stone here, and you could have Harry uh, with Voldemort in the first one. That would be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, it's an all-round brilliant set, and if you ever get a chance to, you know, grab one of these, definitely do it. It's well worth it. It's a cool little display piece. You can sort of sit it and uh, have it on your shelf, like I have at the minute. I've sort of taken it down from the shelf there. But there's uh, two little slots here where you can add the minifigures so they're not going to fall. And it kind of just, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's stuck with me now. I think I'm never going to take the set down. I'm just going to sort of have it on display all year around. Um, and just enjoy looking at it. So this is sort of my review over and done with. If you like this sort of type of video, um, I will do more in the future. I've got a couple in um, in my channel uh, if you want to go view those. And uh, yeah, give me a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.